Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2 and things look different and that is because after like way too many months of waiting we are here in Alpha 20 which uh, it, it doesn't actually change much uh, above the hood but under the hood things are uh, much different uh, to allow for future updates and stuff so we're going to focus on the obvious parts of it. First off, we have new UI, as you can tell by the new lettering for all the planets. And it looks like all the uh, fonts are different sizes and stuff too. I, I don't know, uh, maybe it goes by the size of the body because the sun, uh, sun is much larger than earth, the writing at least. And the writing actually has colors now, so that's interesting. Uh, the trail renderer looks a little bit different too, unless I'm going absolutely insane because of the letters. I could be wrong there. <laughs> I could be wrong. What else do we have? Uh, we have the UI change here. This looks mostly the same, but the font and stuff still looks slightly different. Uh, we also have no more organics under the materials tab because they're planning on adding an actual life update. So that's exciting, we'll have to wait for that. And if we zoom in on Earth and other bodies, they actually look much, much more realistic. Earth's atmosphere isn't as dramatic and it now is a little bit transparent, allowing it to blend and look natural. Uh, let's add another body that uh, looks good. Let's plop down Mercury. Look at Mercury, it has a full bump map and stuff, and you can tell, you can see very clearly that there are pockets where the craters are. Uh, if we fill it with water, we'll be able to see those craters fill up, hopefully. Uh, yeah, see? It's pretty cool. Although, that, that's interesting. Oh, I had to allow it time to fill up. Okay, that was... That was almost very strange. I got kind of worried there for a second that I'd broken something. So yes, things look much more realistic now, including the, uh, the Earth especially. It actually looks kind of like a globe. Uh, before, everything was a little bit exaggerated on the atmosphere, like I said, but now it looks very nice. Uh, and at the same time, let's throw something at it to look at collisions. Uh, we'll use Mars and get a look at what Mars looks like. Mars looks pretty much the same. Yeah. Boring old Mars. I'll go to Mars one day. One day. Actually, I'm not sure if I'd go to Mars. It would be fun. Definitely be exciting. But the whole uh, six months there... Uh, six months back thing, a full year in a uh, travel, that may get a little bit boring. There wouldn't be much to do. So here we go. Although I guess you are in space, so that's that's not that boring. Okay, so Mars hitting Earth, and let's look at the collision and see if there's anything clearly different. So first off, I see that the oceans are receding more locally. That may or may not be the update, or it may just be the type of collision we chose here. Actually, things do look a bit smoother. Not sure if I'm going insane here. Uh, it appears that there's little bumps forming out of the collision. Hmm, what else do we have? For a second there, it did actually look different. I can't quite describe the difference uh, without using way too technical terms that I, I don't even know the terms for it. But overall, huh, it looks more realistic and I will have to give them credit. There wasn't much uh, work done that you can see, but I can definitely tell the difference. I'm just not sure how I can tell the difference. It's an interesting position. So let's look at the damage to Earth. So we can see... Oh, I think the craters actually look a lot more defined now, too. Yeah. That... That is different. Or at least not the same. 
So I would pull up the patch notes, but they're, well, update notes, but they're 11 pages long, and like 90% of it is just fixes. And the one thing I was really excited for was the laser tool, but the laser tool hasn't actually been added uh, for reasons, and one of those reasons is that it didn't work. <laughs> So I guess I guess it's better not to add something that doesn't work, but we will have a video on that when that's a thing. Uh, let's check simulations to see if there's anything different in here. I don't think there will be. Like I said, most of the stuff done was under the hood. I know something was fixed relating to magnetospheres, so let's go check out the uh, patch notes just to check if there's anything specific. Uh, that I'm missing here, but overall it's it's actually a pretty tame update <laughs> Not to disappoint but uh Here we go. Here is all of the updates new completely rewritten UI. We've been over that sound effects for the UI who have not been over that Where, Where's the sound effects? I'm not I'm not getting any sound effects here or at least I'm just bad, or I'm just not doing anything that has sound effects. Um, what else? Hmm. Yeah, UI, uh, a bunch of, a bunch of small changes. Oh, Earth Similarity and Life like you, uh, Likelihood are now percentages, which is actually very convenient. So let's actually plop down Spook Vooper and see what it is in percentage. Spook Vooper. Let's do the purple atmosphere Spook Vooper. And Spook Vooper's life percentage, if we throw it back to 20 degrees, go to materials. Aha! There we go. Yes. 47.6% Coolness That is actually useful Okay, so that's been changed that purple atmosphere looks absolutely amazing Smooth transition when reloading a simulation removed projected path from centermost body. Okay, that's good for recording uh, I have actually noticed that Increase the click area of bodies on desktop. So, it's easier to click on them. And made hovering more transparent. That is actually very good for me. Because I always, when I make a thumbnail, I have to uh, edit out the hover ring in a mouse. And it gets kind of frustrating. So, that is nice. I don't throw the label off. Oh, there we go. Um, what else? Hovering over, yep, yep. Um, increased resolution, toggle switches, body scale and particle scales are now persistent, that's useful. Added support for single units, instead of saying one days, it says one day, so grammar. And just a lot of these small changes, uh, performance things for graphics. Tons and tons of fixes. Uh, let me just drag this over so that you guys can actually see how long the notes are for this update. 10 pages long. Not 11. Ah, sadly known issue. Laser does not work properly. But, um, yeah. That's going to be it for update 20 or alpha 20. Uh, lots of fixes. Lots, lots of fixes. <laughs> Lots of improvements, but nothing I can really go over. Um, not yet, at least. But, oh, yeah, it even says here. And for the most of these, the best sign that we've done our job well is that you can't tell much of a difference. Well, then you guys have done a very good job. That's not meant as a roast or anything. I just, there, there isn't much to cover in this update. But, but... It paves the way for future updates, and for that I'm thankful. So thankful you, uh, th thankful, uh, thank you, Universe Sandbox 2 team. 
and I hope that the next update is extremely exciting and takes advantage of all these under the hood changes. Thank you guys for watching and being supportive of the channel. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next time.